I queen here. I'm back. Uh, I wasn't going to post any more videos on this frame. I thought it'd be pretty self-explanatory from my first video. It's a long drawn out video, but if you fast forward it, you can get to the parts that you need. But it just, it never ends with this thing. I mean, my gosh. Um, so anyway, something else that's different. And I've built a lot of quads. I've never run into a frame this complicated, but I really think it's going to pay off. This is a great frame. So here's the other thing that I have found that's different from any other. So this guy, you wouldn't know that you've got to put this on first. It slides over the wires and, uh, and then you solder. And it won't fit the standard uh, connector that come with the iFlight. The yellow connector won't even go in here. This one won't even go all the way in. This is a black connector I found. It don't go in as far as the, the one you see that's pre-assembled. The one that's pre-assembled, like it's trying to push out. Uh, it, it goes flush. So I don't know, they've used some proprietary connector. This one won't, and it does want to slide out. I think the other, the one that comes with the pre-built stays in. I put a little piece of that black, uh, double-sided black foamy tape, the 3M tape, to try to keep it from sliding. I think once it's bolted down in there, it'll work. But uh, if anyone can find... The proper connector that goes in here, that'd be nice if it snapped in there flush. But I think it's going to do all right. Another thing, you will have to put this together with the sides, with your Vista in, and make sure this is exactly the correct length on these wires, uh, or it's not going to work. Something else that's important, do not solder this. Get a side view. Come on. Let's see. Wait a minute. Okay. Do not solder those connectors straight down. If you do, it's going to hit up against the Vista. You're going to have to solder them up. See how this is connectors up? Solder them up, and then it'll bend down very nicely over top of the Vista. So that's what I learned. If you solder on the connector straight and you don't put on this guy, you're just going to have to redo it. This has been one crazy experience so far. There's nothing else that I can think of. Oh yeah, there is something else. The height of this. If you do not get the height of this stack right, it is not going to line up with the panels. There's a cutout in the panels for your uh, connector. It's got a little rubber guy in there. You're not going to be able to get to your uh, USB-C connector. It's got a cutout for that. It is going to have to be perfectly lined up. The way you do that is you put the gummies on the bottom of the ESC and then the gummies on the flight controller, just like I've got them. They're different lengths. Um, hopefully you can zoom in and see what uh, lengths that I used. I put the bigger side on one part, the smaller side on another. If it's not that height, you're not going to be able to use your side panel. So another thing to look out for. So that's all I can think of. Of course, don't forget to run your wires through these guys before you solder. Make sure your wires come in as close as you can get. The side panels are going to push down. And that's all I can think of. As more craziness arises with this frame. Let's see if I can focus in better. As more stuff arises, I will get back. I did mention earlier just the screws in this Buzzer mount would be good enough to hold the TPU, but it's not. You're going to have to put nuts on. They're already trying to come out. 
So right here, you can see that one's just backed off from me. Uh, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but it's backed off from me assembling it. You're gonna have to put nuts through this. That's all I can think of. I will be modifying this frame. I want a GPS on it. Modifying, I mean uh, another TPU part. Didn't come with a uh, GPS uh, holder. I want a GPS on this. So I'll let you know what I come up with and uh, let you know where I find that, uh, that STL file to print. There's also, you can buy the mount off Amazon too. A pre-printed TPU uh, GPS holder. So that's what I found so far. If anybody's struggling, I hope you stumble across this video because there is none out there. None. I've searched for hours. <laughs> so hope this helps. See ya. Ike Queen out. <laughs>